Okay, start. Rolling first episode. Okay. The purpose of this show is to teach you how to cook some cool meals, cheap, pretty much. And um, we're starting off with pork chops. So, a roll of Ritz crackers, flour, half a cup, whatever, in a bag. Get a jar, crush your crackers. Okay, we're using a cast iron. Now this will go for good for anybody in dorms, if you're, if you're living in a motor home, if you're living in a yacht, if you're living in the Ritz, okay? But we're using um, a, a tech wood hot plate, basically, to heat up this thing. Anyway, I'm not cooking the sides, so any vegetables, salad, mashed potatoes, pastas, whatever you want on the side. I'm just showing you how to do the to do the pork chops. Okay, so rich crackers, flour, crack a couple eggs. Okay, I put a couple teaspoons of water in there. Okay, now whatever you whatever your flavors desire. Okay, I throw uh, granulated garlic. Probably a couple tablespoons in there. I don't measure, but you can if you want. Okay, I don't write recipes down either, so just kind of check it out. Anyway, throw uh, some, well, I don't want to say until I get sponsors, but some other spices. So throw whatever you want in thyme. You can throw whatever you like uh, fried chicken with, pepper, a little bit of salt. Just a little bit, because it's already got a little bit of salt on those crackers. And then pepper. Here we go. Tablespoon of pepper, or teaspoon, I mean. Okay, so there's in your Ritz crackers. So mix that up. Okay. I use olive oil, but any kind of oil will work that you prefer. Now, if you're vegan or vegetarian, you probably want to go to a different channel. So put about, I don't know, quarter cup maybe. Whatever, just line the pan really good, let it get hot. And mix up your eggs. Okay, I washed off the pork chops. You can use any kind of pork chop. Okay, you can even use chicken for this if you want. Okay, chicken breast, chicken thigh, whatever. Okay, so you wanna go flour Put your flour on there Let's set it aside real quick on a plate and the boring part but dust them really good. So we're going to be cooking, basically, my uh, producer and best friend's name is John Phillips. He has a schooner endurance. So we'll be doing a lot of cooking on beaches. We live up in the islands, the great northwest. And um, so we'll be cooking on the beach. We'll be cooking all over the place. This is just a little quick starter to show you guys how to make some cool pork chops with Ritz crackers. So hopefully Ritz crackers will get a hold of this and sponsor us at some point. Because I know all you guys are going to love this show and you're going to keep watching, right? Okay, so you're floured. You can leave them a little bit chunky. It doesn't have to be like total powder, but get those. Okay, drop a little egg in there. Okay, that's what you want to hear. Okay, so these are just little thin pork chops, no big deal. It's like the old shake and bake. Give them a little pat down. There you go. That's what you want. Nice crumb. I don't know if you can see it very good, but anyway. 
like I said, we, we try to use a lot of cast iron, um, especially on the beach, Dutch oven. Use a lot of crock pot too. I pre cooked meat in the crock pot. Usually, um, what I try to do, what I'm, my goal is here, is to show you guys how to have good meals and keep it within a budget. Everything's so expensive. Um, you know, you can buy what's on sale and make your menu around that. If you have a freezer, buy in bulk. Divide everything up, freeze it. We're on an island, so we got to kind of buy in bulk because it's a bit to get to the store. And of course, if you're on an island, you're paying island prices. I won't mention the market that's ripping this all off. Okay. So, Six pork chop is uh, going to take you through about a sleeve of those Ritz crackers. You know, you want to bread them good. Same thing, you can get five or six good chicken breasts out of it. Or thighs, you can probably get ten. Anyway. Got it going a little hot, so let's calm it down a little. And there you go. Okay. And away we go. Just want to slow crackle. You don't want to really take them in hot. You can bring them up to heat here in a minute, just a little bit. I kind of want to slow cook these. Now another way you can do them too, if you want to do other stuff, you don't want to sit over these pork chops, you can fry them on both sides and throw them in the oven, which is a good way to do it too. But we're just going to fry these slow. And when we're done, we'll come back, right? Should we just stop it now? Sure. Okay. Why not? Right. We'll be back. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. Okay, just kind of slow cooking these. Anyway, so what I got going with it is um uh you guys can do anything. Canned green beans, corn, whatever. I've got mixed vegetables. I chopped up some onions, a little bell pepper, um, but I got some butter in there, some yellow squash, some regular squash anyway like I said we kind of have it we don't have a kitchen doing a cooking show without a kitchen so this is where we're going and then I'm doing some mashed potatoes but that's another day I don't want to override it but anyway listen what you do is you slow cook these like I said I don't put a lid on them I just let them cook I'll add a little bit of olive oil to the corners after you flip them just a little bit if they seem a little dry. There we go. Anyway, moving right along. Anyway, so listen, when you cook these, it's gonna go about 10 minutes on each side, okay? Slow cooking. Now, if you're using cast iron and you've got an oven that'll fit a cast iron pan, you can brown these on both sides and throw it throw it in the oven for about a half an hour once you get it up to heat and brown both sides. Otherwise, just slow cook these, flipping them. 
like I said, about 10 minutes on each side, and then you will have golden pork chops with rich crackers. Okay, so the next one we're going to be doing, we'll be doing the next show from the boat. This is just kind of a little quick starter for you guys to get a feel. We tell stupid jokes, okay? Uh, a lot of whale watching up here, and we're out there, and uh, what does one whale say to the other ale? whale? Do you ever feel like you're being watched? Yep, see, bad jokes. This is where we're living. Between this and a schooner, as he says. So, we got some schooners we've built. There's one of them that Dave built. Captain's boat. Another schooner. My little schooner's not here yet, but we'll be filming on the schooners. And we'll be filming right there where the pirate flag is at the base of that. The fire, the cook on the fire there, and the cast iron, and Dutch oven, and whatnot. And so this is where we're at. And then you go inside to where we just filmed. And there's Eric, the kitchen you just saw. Ta da! Carry on. And it's just a, something you could have in your apartment, and we cook really, really good meals here. 